Hi everyone, how are you today? It's the finally Friday. It took forever to get here, but we're here we are at Friday. Because as people are jumping on, I'm going to do the Celeste Cream Makeup today using the um, smudge brush to apply. Hi, thank you for joining. Let me get a little bit closer here so I can see. How's everyone doing on this ridiculously hot already Friday morning in uh, Louisiana, southeast Louisiana. That's where I live. Where are you watching from? Let me know. I like to see kind of, you know, how this world really comes together. Okay, we're going to start with the, the Celeste palette. This is the $29 palette. Good morning. The $29 palette that this is cream makeup. It wears really well and it's more affordable than some of the others. Hello, UK. Good morning, California. Oh, Clarksville, Tennessee. Did you get a lot of the rain from uh, uh, that storm named Debbie? Texas, Florida, Tucson. It's hot by you too, I bet. Oklahoma. Hi, everyone. San Antonio. Yay. It's hot there too. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to start with the contour shade. Hi, UK. So glad you're here. Um, I'm going to start with the, the contour shade, and we all know contour goes on the dark parts, or not the dark parts, the hard parts of our face. Uh, oh, you didn't get any, any rain? I have um, two grandchildren, they're, they're young adults, that are in the Myrtle Beach, South Carolina area, and they were like, it rained for three days, so um, yeah, she... She started in Florida, where I have a granddaughter that goes to Florida State. Hi, Marilyn. Um, hi, Debbie. Uh, so anyway, she um, she grew up in New Orleans, so you know storms are not much to her. But when you're away from home and on your own, you kind of you're like, okay, so what do I do? So we had to go through your your hurricane and storm preparedness with her the beginning of the week, but she, she came through it fine, no issues at the university. And uh, then it went up the East Coast and caught my other two. So I have six grandchildren, so three out of the six got to experience uh, Debbie. Okay, so we put our contour on the hard parts of our face. Yes, we do need an arc, that's for sure, for more reasons than one. Um, just got my palette in the mail. Oh, yay! Good, good. Any issues, let me know. If you, if you need anything with placement, be sure to let me know if, if, um, if you need any help. Okay, so we're going to... Oh, hi, Sarah. I didn't realize that was you. I'm, my eyes are still, like, blurry this morning. Okay, so we're going to start on the hard parts of our face. We're going to start at the corner of our eye because I am over 60, like, yeah over 60. <laughs> I'm on the downhill side of 60 headed towards 70. So again, we need all the help we can get. Hi, India. Welcome. Welcome. So we are going to just put this on the hard parts of our face. And the cheekbone, you can feel it. It is a round bone. And so we're going to stay on the cheekbone to just a little bit underneath it because we want to keep everything uh, high and lifted. We don't want to show what's going on in the, the less, uh, what, where we have distractions. Let's call it that. We have distractions like all of these uh, folds and these marionette lines and just crepey skin. Alrighty, so we're going to contour the nose. I'm not going to do my jawline because as I sweat today, because we'll be out and about, um, you know, as you wipe it, it kind of looks like a, a muddy mess, only because I live in an extremely humid area of Louisiana. We are like right on the, um, in other words, water is all around us. So we're very close to the Gulf of Mexico. Okay, let's just do our our nose contour. It's a lot easier to do your nose contour if you have like this this uh, bronzer, uh, not bronzer. This con uh, contour stick. This went on really, really easily yesterday. Super, super easy. Okay. You can also use this to fill in your eyebrows. I did that one time and I really see, see how that just kind of brightens your face. You don't need to use much. 
but you can use it to brighten these. This is a warm shade. Normally I wear cool shades. And that's another thing. I am one of the belief that you can wear whatever you want. If someone that, that did your colors and says you're, you know, you're a cool shade, but you, you tend to gravitate towards the warmer shades, I feel you can wear them. That's just me. I need to put something right there for that gel. There we go. Just a little bit of contour. Okay, so now we're done with our contour placement. You can also line your lips with it, use it as an eyeshadow. So we flip the brush around and I'm going to grab the brightening or concealer shade and go right down the center of my nose between those two contour lines that I put. And what we're doing there is we're elongating the nose and just making it look just a little bit longer than it is and just a little bit more narrow than it would normally be. Okay, so we're doing our concealer. And why we're putting it in this part of the face is that's what we want to accentuate. And two, it does a little bit of color correcting. So we're gonna catch the inner and the outer eye as we move down the face. There we go. And then the inner and outer part of the eye. And we're going to come and do a vertical line or, or a, a, not a, not vertical, do a, a curved line up from the corner of the eye into there we go, into the temple. Because what we're doing is we're, we're using our different shades to enhance what is already there. This will, if some, as someone is speaking to you and they're looking, their eyes immediately going to go up, which is gonna give you an eye lift, a little bit of a cheek lift, and they were only using it because it's just a little bit lighter. There you go, it's like an instant eye lift and, and you're only using color. You're not using anything else. Okay, let's catch the cupid's bow and we're gonna catch the center of the chin. Alrighty. So what, what season is it with you ladies around the world? It's like the end of summer for some. For here, we're still in summer, summer uh, in Southeast Louisiana. Okay. Now I'm going to move to a main shade and I'm going to go a little bit lighter. Normally I would use this one. Today I'm going to use just a little bit lighter, the lighter one, which is, I think the shades are, here they are. I'm going to use nude. Now, if you think that looks well, okay, whatever. If they think it's nude, that's good. And we're just going to use this as our main shade. Some are in the UK as well. Yeah, here too. Normally, we have afternoon thunderstorms, which kind of help us out a little bit. The last week, we haven't. It. It's just been stifling hot with humidity in southeast Louisiana. Just super, super hot. And for most kids, today is the first day of school. So the new school year has started for uh, my, I have uh, three grandchildren that are still in school. The others are either out or in college. There we go. And then we're going to just put a little bit up here. Your main shade should be a shade that you use that um, you just fill in. And you only, use, you know, you use it as a filler shade. And it fills in where you don't have any other products. So see, I have my contour, I have my main shade, and then I have my brightening shade. And actually, I could use this as a brightening shade too. It, that one may be a little bit light, so let's go in and just, just tap in and we'll blend them together. The, uh, the little bit darker for a main shade. There we go. All right, over here. All right, so now we are ready to blend. If I can close this. I shouldn't open it that big. There we go. And again, this is what you get. This is setting powder, and this setting powder does have SPF in it. So in this little tin, you can do your, this is your entire face of foundation. Look how small it is. And it's only $29. That's the other thing. The price point is really, really good. And it's good cream makeup, too. This will last all day. 
Now, let's start blending. And again, I'm just gonna give a little bit of a blend to that little bit of contour that I put on my jawline to try to hide the jowl. And then we're just going to stipple, press it into our faces and blend. Just stipple and blend. There we go. And this is available, you know how you need a color match uh, with, with the other makeup that, that I represent. You need a color match because there's, you, in other words, you have to build this yourself. That's either a, this one is a medium dark, there's also a light medium. So you can mix and match in there. So it's really a good deal for the money. And this is really creamy. This stuff, it, this does not have the beeswax in it. So it blends like butter. There we go. We'll just get all of this blended in. Now this is giving me a little bit lighter because again, I did go predominantly lighter, but the coverage is good. See how I have my rosacea through here and it doesn't look bad. Doesn't look bad at all. Okay. It's not like the redness is coming through. And the other thing with the SPF, um, that's wonderful, but if you use their BB cream, any time that you have a rosacea flare up and the stinging, uh, I can live with the redness. It's the stinging that really gets to me. So you can use this BB cream. It has SPF in it and that will stop the stinging within 10 minutes. You'll still be red probably. And it, it does have, um, this is colored as well as it has shades in it, one through five. So you choose which shade you want to use. I use shade four just for reference. If anyone's looking, shade four is the one that I wear. Okay, be sure your, your jawline is always blended. There we go. Now let's come up here. We're just gonna circle blend. Oh, excuse me, I got the sniffles this morning. My allergies are acting up with the heat and the humidity out here. So we're just blending the contour in, go all the way up into your hairline. You don't want to leave that white line to show, hey, I didn't blend my makeup well. And then you blend up with your contour shade. There we go. And you can, you can make your contour, as long as you're headed up and you don't go like past here, you can make your line as long or as small as you like. There we go. Okay, now let's come back with some blush and guess what I have? I think this is a bronzer too. Um, but we're going to, if I can figure out how to open this. You notice how I get new stuff and I, I don't do a trial run. <laughs> Here it is, what you see is what you get. Okay, this is like a bronzer. And I've been using bronzer in lieu of um, blush here lately, and I like it. And if you swirl these three shades, watch what you get. Really pretty. And let's just tap it in. Look how pretty that is. It's not really a red bronzer, but it's not like a brown one either. Let's just go ahead and add some more all over the face. I am, I love bronzer, I really do. To me, that gives you that sun-kissed look. And if you made any boo-boos on your application, this covers it up. So there you go. All right. So what do you think? I like this. I like this a lot. And again, the name of this company is Celeste. I'm just gonna put a little bit all the way over. And since I do live in a humid area, I like to use this finishing powder because our air is not only hot, it's wet. So let's just tap into a little bit of powder. Cream makeup needs to be set anyway. But this is a flawless setting powder. And I mean, really, look at that. 
Isn't that amazing? I mean, I believe me, my skin doesn't look this good. It really doesn't. Okay, I think I need some more bronzer. Alrighty, and they call this the nude look. Why? I don't know, but... So we're going to swirl again. There we go. I like a bold cheek and a bold lip. So how much you use is up to you, how bold you want to go with the colors, because your makeup should be reflective of what you like. There's no one size fits all, maybe on placement, but not on as far as the application is concerned. I like this. Okay, don't put too much, Peggy. I could keep going, but I won't. There we go. And then today, I am going to use a lip crayon. And I think this was the one. Yeah, here we go. Again, I'm kind of going with the, the neutral colors. And... Oh, man, do I like this. I gravitate towards not pinks, but like mauves, purples, and, and uh, browns. I love corals, too. This is creamy. Again, all of this is by Celeste. Oh, bonus points. Look look how white it makes my teeth look. <laughs> okay. Now, I don't like to go all the way to the corners of my mouth with my lipstick because with the, the wrinkles we get around the lip area, it will tend to drag them down and drag your smile down. And again, we're trying to move everything up. Okay, let's do a little bit of mascara. And this is Celeste's mascara that I really like. Now they have a ton of them, but this is false lashes. So it really covers well. Uh, I took a picture the other day or someone took a picture of me and I was looking down and it really did look like I had false eyelashes on and it was nothing but this mascara. This setting powder is, our finishing powder is unbelievable. I can't, you know, look at the smooth, finish and that's even through the wrinkles because see i still have the wrinkles or, or i have wrinkles on my um above my lip i have the um what do you call these marionette lines yes 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 at 68 it is what it is okay now i do the back side of the lash first that's just me is that the correct way to do it I don't know. That was what I got from a magazine I read in 1968 looking at the pictures. Of course, there wasn't a video to show me. So as I was flipping through the magazine, that's what I said. This is the proper way to apply mascara. So you figure 1968, that's over 50 years ago. <laughs> So chances are, yeah, if, it, if a current makeup artist, that's the other thing, I'm not a professional makeup artist. And uh, if one saw that, they would probably be like, oh gosh, no, that is not how you do it. Well, that's how I've done it for the last 50 whatever years. So that's what works for me. You do what works for you. But I like to make sure every lash is coated. Because just a little bit of mascara and a little bit of lipstick can change your features, change your look, and just give you that lift on some days when you need it. Here we go. Alrighty, that is it for today. Um, we'll do some, I'll do some, an eyeshadow um tutorial and I'll post that later today. Um, again, this is Celeste. I used this item. I used this. I used mascara and I used their bronzer powder for lack of a better word to call it. And that's it. This is my look. I appreciate you all hanging out with me. If you need any links to anything, let me know. Just drop it in the comments once I get off of here. You be the reason someone smiles today, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks so much. Bye.